Hello everybody, this is Craig C. White with HighTimeToAwake.com. I want to tell you today that the Antichrist has been officially revealed. On Friday, July 24th, 2020, Turkish President, Turkish President Erdogan sat in the Hagia Sophia Christian Cathedral and declared himself as being above God, above the Christian God. In 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, it says that the Antichrist will be officially revealed as he sits in the temple of God showing himself that he is God. Most Christian Bible teachers will tell you that that event will happen in a new uh, temple that will be eventually built in uh, Jerusalem uh, during the tribulation period. But in 2 Thessalonians uh, chapter 2, it does not mention the same events that will happen during uh, what's called the abomination of desolation, uh, spoken of by the prophet Daniel. Uh, it doesn't describe the same sort of events. Uh, Daniel describes uh, the stopping of the daily sacrifice in the temple, uh, and in other places in Revelation, it says that, uh, and in Matthew chapter 24, it says that um, when the Jews in Jerusalem and Judea see the abomination of desolation uh, standing in the holy place, that they should flee to the wilderness. Second Thessalonians doesn't mention any of that, does not mention the uh, sacrifice stopping. And actually, on that same day that the abomination of desolation happens, the armies of the Antichrist will invade Jerusalem. And 2 Thessalonians does not mention any of that. Uh, and 2 Thess Thess Thessalonians even uh, calls this uh, church or whatever um, building it is uh, by a different name. It says it calls it the Temple of God, while Matthew says it's the holy place. So uh, the holy place, I think, uh, could much more easily refer to the temple in Jerusalem. But the temple of God, I believe, is referring to the Hagia Sophia. And the Hagia Sophia is the oldest, largest, uh, most significant Christian uh, cathedral in the world. It was built in the uh, fifth century. It's about 1,500 years old. It, was, it is and was built for the, uh, as the seat of Eastern Orthodox Christianity, uh, especially when it was built of, of uh, Greek Orthodox uh, Christianity. And it's, it's the most significant uh, and continual uh, oldest Christian cathedral uh, in the world. So, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 says that two events must happen before the, before the tribulation begins. And those two events are the falling of Satan from heaven to the earth. And when he does fall, he'll enable the Antichrist. And, uh, and specifically in 2 Thessalonians it says that the Antichrist will sit in the temple of God showing himself that he is God. And I believe that, well, I know that Turkish President Erdogan definitely did uh, actually sit in, on the ground, not in a seat, not in a chair, on the ground uh, in the Hagia Sophia and declared his supremacy over the Christian God. So he definitely sat in the temple of God showing himself that he is God. And that other event, uh, that Second Thessalonians talks about is the falling, the casting out of Satan. And in other places, in the New Testament and in the Old Testament, it talks about Satan falling like lightning and that his tail will uh, take or, or make cause to fall a third of the stars in heaven. <clears throat> Pardon me. On the same day that Turkish President Erdogan dedicated the Hagia Sophia as a mosque, uh, the comet Neowise was at its closest proximity to the Earth. And as Neowise was 
leaving, or, you know, uh, going away from the Earth, there were two significant meteor showers that happened. So all these little darting, you know, bright lights coming across the sky. And the Neo, uh, comet Neowise was a bright comet. It was visible to the naked eye. You could actually still see it now. Uh, I, I did. I took a look at it uh, through binoculars, and it's pretty easy to see. But uh, I think those, I think those celestial events may be uh, signs of the fall of Satan, especially considering that they happened at exactly the same time that Turkish President Erdogan was sitting in the Hagia Sophia, showing himself uh, that he was greater than than the Christian God. So I think that those the two events that Paul, the Apostle Paul, uh, instructed the Thessalonians about have happened and those two events precede the tribulation so now the tribulation as according to the biblical time frame is free to begin so when you know when will the tribulation begin I think the question I want to answer today is when will the rapture happen because the rapture of the church saves the church saves Christians from going, having to go through the tribulation. So when will the rapture happen? I think the Bible gives us a pretty good idea of what events to look for before uh, that day comes, and it's gonna come pretty soon. Uh, the Bible describes the destruction of, of Damascus, and I believe that's led by Turkey, because Turkey is already in Syria. Turkey is already in northwestern Syria, where Jeremiah in uh, Jeremiah chapter 49 verses 23 through 27 identifies uh, Hema and Tel Rafat, two cities in northwestern Syria. The Turkish army has been amassed next to Hema and Tel Rafat for a couple of years now. The, Jeremiah says that Turkey will uh, terrify Hema and Tel Rafat, then the residents of Damascus will flee and Damascus will be destroyed. And I believe that the Turkish army is responsible for these things. So Turkey at any time now, especially since the Antichrist has been officially revealed, should launch a major offensive in northwestern Syria and then come down into Damascus. And after that, Damascus is only 30 miles from northern Israel. Uh, the Golan Heights it lies between Syria and Israel. And part of it belongs to Syria, part of it belongs to Israel. And uh, Nahum chapter 1 describes Jesus Christ coming in the air in a whirlwind of fire to the Golan Heights. So I believe that Jesus Christ is returning to stop the Turkish, Turkish led invasion of northern Israel, which will happen right after the destruction of Damascus. All this done by Turkey. And in Nahum chapter 1 and in Psalm, uh, Psalm 50, describes very similar events. It says that uh, God knows who belong to him. And it says that, that Jesus will command his angels to gather believers. So when Jesus Christ comes to the Golan Heights to stop this Turkish-led invasion, I believe he's also going to take his church at the resurrection and rapture. So this uh, video is mainly telling you that the Antichrist has been officially, biblically revealed. And that's by Turkish President, President Erdogan sitting in the Hagia Sophia, reciting the Quran and showing himself that he's above the Christian God. That's happened. July 24th, 2020. It's high time to awake. The tribulation is near. The rapture is near. There are bad things hap uh, coming to this earth. I hate to tell you that, but that's, that's the truth. Go to hightimetoawake.com to learn more. Please read my commentaries. Read my books. You have very little time. Jesus said commanded us, warned Christians, the church, in the first uh, four chapters of Revelation, that you must watch as he, uh, as the day of the rapture approaches. And if you don't watch, that there are serious consequences. 
So this is a very brief time that you can watch and and be accountable to God and when you see Jesus Christ to not be ashamed. So go to my website, hightimetoawake.com, read my commentaries, read my books. We have so little time. God bless you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.